All right, it's time for another game room tour. It's been a few years, so what's better than one game room tour? How about two, two rooms? We have two rooms now. Yes. We're gonna do a quick pan around so you can see the entire basement. Come back right here. I'm gonna pour you a beer, and then we're gonna start the more detailed tour. Yeah. All right, we just panned around the room real quick. It is time for beer. You need your beer for the more detailed tour. We're gonna be going in, getting closer to everything. So let's pour you a beer. Every tour should begin at the entrance. So follow me and we'll start pointing out some some cool stuff. First of all, if you haven't seen it yet, the bat signal. This was a light we got from Home Depot and Jen cut out, um, is that a vinyl sticker or what is that? Yeah, Jen? it's just a piece of vinyl and I cut it out and put it right on top of the light. We have lots of cool art pieces in here. We have some memories from Halloween. You'll see pictures of my son and me dressed up. Get some comic book art here. There's a lot of zombie stuff from a local artist. One and of our prized possessions, I guess, in the, here too, would be from this year when we went to Siege and we got everybody to sign our shirt and Scott's head. How do you feel about that, Scott? That's why I'm wearing a hat now. Check out the cool X-Men poster. Nice big vinyl poster. Okay. There's my masks I made. Your I've Halloween got mask. videos of that on YouTube. You can go check it out. And if you look down. We got like the, uh, I don't know what you call it there, Stairway to Heaven for superheroes? Yeah. <laughs> and some Walking Dead. Walking Dead painting. That I did. It's one of your first paintings, isn't it? It is, and a bat I made. It was a bat my mom brought back from somewhere, and I turned it into a Negan's bat. Lucille, right? Yes. And the nun, of course. And Teddy is continuing the tour with us. So turn to your right, and then you will see the Genesis wall down on the bottom. I'm gonna get Jen to put in a little clip of this actually set up, because this folds all up into more of an arcade stand that we use the big TV for. Pandora's box. Yep. Look up. Look up way There's a up. custom GameCube sign that I made. That's light up, it's made of wood, stained. Got some LED lights in the back with plexiglass. While we're at it, everything in here is pretty much custom made. If it looks like you couldn't buy it in a store, chances are Scott and I probably made it. That is the Mansions of Madness wall in all its glory. Don't ask me how much that costs. <laughs> but we have to thank a few people, Quaffle of Nerds and my mom. So Jen's PS4 wall. This is just a little tidbit of her actual PS4 collection. I yeah. say her collection because if we had to count PS4 games that we've played, you've played probably 90% of our collection. I, I've played a In comparison lot. to what I've played. Definitely. Right? Yeah. Got our arcade one up. Yeah, and I don't think that was in the last game room tour either. I think this wall still had a kegerator on it. Quite possible. Hey, what'd you whine about? Speaking of new, Teddy was not in the last game room tour because he's going to be two and we did it more than two years ago. Yeah. Now the feature wall, I call this the feature wall because when we do most of our YouTube videos, we had the table set up in front of this back wall. Mm -hmm. And you see this in every video. So this is a painting. Not a poster. Not a poster is the, uh, the box art. That is probably still Jen's favorite painting in the room. Yeah, and it's even more my favorite now that I played the game. Secret Time, when I first made the painting, I had never played the game. I had no connection to it other than it was my COVID painting while we were in lockdown, and that's basically what I did. I worked on that painting forever. So you see on the door, this is just a cutout. It's all plywood. But anyway, we had to figure out a way to kind of camouflage and decorate this eyesore of a door. 
And then we made some game cartridges, so we just went with Super Mario 1, 2, and 3. Then we got our feature wall for our games, which include uh, PS2, PS3, GameCube. I want to show you guys something Scott made for me. So Scott was putting in a plug upstairs, and he needed to run the wire downstairs to, no. to connect it no to the electric no fan. No harm, no foul. Mm -hmm. no. This is where it came out. But thankfully, dun, dun, dun. it did not damage the game. Didn't do anything to at the game. all. And you know why? I've explained this to you. Like I said before, I knew just in case this small possibility it was going to come through the wall that I had it at the right angle that I wouldn't damage anything. Oh, okay. So okay? you knew. I knew. Yeah. One of my favorite pieces that uh, we'll call it art. Yeah, it is art. This is a, a scaled up version of the G1 Optimus Prime, the toy itself. So what I did is I took the toy apart and scaled up every single part and then built this. This fully transforms. We <laughs> did do it in a video. We're not doing it again. Not doing we it again. will it's, show that. It's a pain in the butt. But I built this for my son's fifth birthday because it was huge in the Transformers. And then he kind of outgrew the whole thing and it became kind of something in his room that he didn't use it was taking up space so i was like well let's bring it down here and then we have more super mario stuff this is another painting let's let's show them what's behind it yeah just for giggles this was a, a way for us to hide the old electrical panel yeah who wants to see that in a game room yeah you know my I... favorite thing about this painting is the bottom i made it so that it looked like the bottom of a box if you look at the bottom of a box right this big mess right here is our rec Holding area. recent pickups so it's they're sitting in limbo waiting for a pickup video yeah. Deadpool. Deadpool also this it's fully automated we did a quick video on the on that thing he says a bunch of things that are funny and it's you can use your phone but I basically use them to hold my VR right now and we get around to the bar area now in the bar area I have a TV set up this TV we have the ability to play YouTube on there. We also have the ability to play the original Xbox that I have sitting here. This can be hooked up, we just, it's never used. It's, yeah. It's kind of more of the display thing. I also have the ability, I have, quick a, connect. I have an HDMI underneath on the end right there. Oh. You'll never be able to get the camera up here, but I'll point with my finger. Yeah. I ran an HDMI connection from here underneath over to the TV so that I can take one of the minis that we have, we'll get over there later, but I can hook the mini up here so when we're having a party, people can sit at the bar and play whatever Mario Kart on the on the mini. You guys can probably see the old uh, Steel Battalion and a bunch of controllers that are just sitting around. I don't, I've got more controllers than I know what to do with. Speaking of controllers. The power wall. The power wall. This is what we fondly call the power wall because I have so many controllers. And it's apparently running a little bit out of power because yeah. this should light up. And for some reason, a couple weeks ago, it stopped. So I need to take that apart. This is one of my favorite things that I've built because this was one of the first things I built yeah. in this game room. It was kind of a, a feature piece that people get a kick out of coming and pouring their own beer out of an original Xbox. Over here we have another display piece that I made for controllers for the minis basically. Now I know what you're saying, like this is for the Wii U, yes, but I can also hook it up to the mini. Just a piece of, uh, what do you call it, that? Uh, butcher block. Butcher block, and then I cut them, uh, I cut slits in it glass. around, I want to say it was 45 degrees maybe, maybe not, I don't really remember. And then I put pieces of plexiglass in there, like these ones actually come right out. Yeah. And then I just set the controllers on there. Looks pretty cool, I think. This is new to the game room. One Punch Man, the painting that took me two years to do. <laughs> Only because I put it down to make other paintings, which we will get to in a second. But we did pick up a cool One Punch Man figure. And he's uh, apparently pointing to the painting behind him, showing it off. And you can see the cool ass Xbox sign. Yes. Along with the Xbox 360 collection that wraps halfway around the room and then the other half, a little bit of Xbox One and then all the oh, original the Xbox. Xbox. Let's go look at the paintings on the top and we'll work our way around the left. So you got the Hulk. The Hulk we thought was really cool and still is really cool because that was one of your first paintings. It was my second painting. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I look at it now and I cringe a little bit because I know I could do such a better job, but that painting I did in like two days. 
And you got your Alice Madness Returns figures. Yes, I have a video of receiving that. I knew I was getting it because Scott ordered it for my birthday. But uh, not Alice, uh, we're Cheshire talking Cat. Cheshire Cat. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it was the only one I was missing. The other two I got for a really, really good price and that one was pretty much, no. <laughs> but he wanted to get it for me and I wanted it. Wolverine's still cool. I think it still holds up pretty well. Now the Joker, I don't know if you could do much better than that. The Joker's yeah. friggin' awesome. I was pretty happy with yeah. the Joker. And then on the other side, you got Harley Quinn and then you got Blade. You also have Card Guard. I guess we'll work our way down a little bit and you'll see some of my Super Nintendo complete box stuff. I didn't buy all these. I had all the games uh, loose and Dennis had all the boxes with the manuals and well, all that stuff. Well, she had most of the boxes. Most of them. Another one was from a great friend. Chrono and, Trigger is yes. from Mort, Mort's, from Mort's Garage. Garage. Now, I did buy a few. I bought Breath of Fire in Total Carnage. For people with a good eye that notice this Earthbound, this is a reproduction that Jen was just playing around with and seeing what we can actually make. We just wanted it to be able to Something put it in cool. there and put Earthbound on. My Double Dragon 2 I got at Siege. Still my favorite NES game. And that's one of the big reasons why I got it. And then you will see, I don't have a whole lot of Game Boy Advance games, but the ones we have are the ones we really wanted. My PS1 collection, that is one of the, my favorite consoles here in the last year or two to collect for and play. Since I got into RPGs, I have been on the hunt hard and just, I've, every one I've played, I've at least enjoyed, and some of them I absolutely love. If you see something on the shelf that you've played and loved, leave a comment, ask me a question about it, or ask me if I've even played it, because most of these are still on the backlog, because I, like I said, I only really started collecting heavily a year and a half, two years ago. And you'll see my PS3 collection. That's the, uh, the rest of it. There's some of it up on the feature wall up there. My PS2 collection. And then down on the very bottom is our handheld stuff. The majority of the handheld stuff is probably Jen's. Well, definitely the DS. You'll see a real heavy theme here, which is mostly horror, survival horror, horror inspired, some sort of monsters. I, I bought these from a friend. I would like to kind of rearrange my shelf up top so I can display these ones a little yes, bit better. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, they're like, they are minty, they are awesome. And you get to our TV, this big ass, heavy, break my back TV, it has HDMI on it. And that's why that one's in here. Now I do between the two TVs, because we have a 65 inch up oh, here. Oh look, it's side by side too. Right? So, I was counting earlier, including the minis, and the gaming laptop, and everything on this side. Between these two TVs, there's 30 consoles set up. 30 consoles. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Right? I wish I could say I use every one of them, but there are a handful that don't get touched very often. We have to point out this, because this up is until maybe recently, your favorite painting? this is, this is, I don't know, it's, it might be second favorite now. It oh, might be second. Oh, you don't... wouldn't answer that question when I, I don't asked know. you. I don't know. I don't want to go there. But anyway, Something cool about these yeah. is that I have them on a swinging hinge with a magnetic latch and I have some hidden storage back here. Exactly. Up above the TV, we have the PlayStation sign. I made that the same time I made the GameCube one. That's why this wall's painted PlayStation blue and behind us, that wall's painted the green for the Xbox. Yes. Streets of Rage 4, really cool beat em up. Not my favorite Streets of Rage. No. But I love all the streets. Yes, games. it was They're a very, cool. very fun game. I said, well, let's say the third one's my least favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, lots of storage back here. There's a lot more controllers because it's a little more easily accessible on this side. Exactly. I don't have to reach over a TV. And then we have more of those same controller holders that I built. I built for basically nothing. It was at a scrap stuff that I had in the garage yeah. from other projects. And then we get down here and we have our PS4 collection, our Pandora's box. This cool little find is a sealed board game, Nightmare 3. That's something cool that I'm a Jen big Nightmare fan. We have PS4, all our VR is on one shelf. PS5, our Wii, our Switch, some cool figures you should not take on a plane. You should not, because they might stop you. They will stop and you. And they might think you have a weapon. 
This whole room's done. Whole room is done. Whole room's done. Yeah. That's old news anyway. That's, that's old news. That's you old. guys have seen this a thousand that's, times. That's old news. Now, let's go to the new room. I guess you guys can see it. Yeah. But I, I, I really think this is my favorite painting. That makes right, me pretty uh, happy. Uh, for now. For now. <laughs> I never know what I'm capable of. But yeah, I, I played this game for the first time this year and absolutely loved it. All right. Yeah, let's go in. Let's go in. Get this ready. This is the first time anybody's Get ever ready. really seeing it. This is going to be like a full-on nerdgasm. Yeah. Because this is like toys, comics, video games. You name it. We got uh, it. So you can see I have a whole DVD Blu-ray collection started here. <laughs> it's become my new started? obsession. You built this just before we... I built this when we started this game room and then I filled it with DVDs. DVDs are awesome. You can buy them for like a buck. It's like an awesome movie. There. <laughs> just, just can't wait. Just because you can buy something for a dollar doesn't mean you have to. But you know what? You know what? Look at all these movies. All these horror movies right here. Yeah. How many times... During Halloween, how many of those can you actually see? On Netflix. Without having to friggin' rent it for $4.99. Exactly. Now I got them. Hey! Hey, you! Stop making a mess. I seen you. I He's see you. Just trying to get comfy. Oh yeah, getting comfy there, wrecking my couch. There's a lot going on in this room. At the very top, I have a border of all my comics. Not all my comics, but all my like kind of highlight stuff, the the, the cool stuff that might be worth a little bit more, or it's a you know key issue or so, stuff like that. I was a comic book collector. Was my second obsession. It went toys, toys comics, comics, games, games. now DVDs. You also, in between there, you were brewing. It, like that's you, not like an obsession, that's a- That was an obsession for Healthy one. hobby. Okay. <laughs> me out of trouble. <laughs> but yeah, you, you're gonna you're gonna see toy like that Ghetto Blaster thing, that was you. Yes. You wanted that. It's it's retro, it needs to be in the retro room. Yeah. Let me, so. let me fix this blanket, Teddy, okay? He's gonna watch Lunar. He's gonna sit down there and think about what he did. Uh, you better. You okay. Better. I come in here and straighten things up and you come in and wreck it. Yeah, wreck it. You'll notice that there's not a huge amount of consoles in here. Like this TV here, we picked up, I think right around the same time we started this room. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what, it's not light. <laughs> uh, you had to crawl into our car backwards and it barely fit. We have a Toyota Corolla. Do you think that should fit in the back seat? I remember when I picked it up, there was a guy, he was in his early 20s and he looked at me, he's like, I don't know if that's going in. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just, I, I was doing a lot of yoga at the time, so I was able to crawl in backwards there, <laughs> one arm. And <laughs> yeah. Bye. Uh, I'll, you look down. I got the PS2. That's I have Lunar in here. Jim wanted me to put Lunar in here. I actually played it on the PS1 and the other TV. Yeah, you did. But uh, Jim wanted it on in the TV here to kind of be beside the Lunar painting, which is, makes sense. I need to point something out. Okay. Okay. I know this is not going to be a big deal to most people. However, this is an old PC that was not working. I found. I got it all working. It does hook up to the TV. I have played a PC game on this TV, which is not easy. Scratches. Scratches. And uh, that might be my very first and point and click PC game I've ever played. And people are gonna say, why? Why, why would you wanna play a PC game on a CRT gen? Why? Because this is a retro room. Because it's cool. Because it's cool. <laughs> but if you look down, You'll see the uh, the Sega Saturn that I finally, finally got. It was my white whale for the longest time, and a friend of ours, Denver Gamer, modded it and sent it up as a gift. Oh, yeah. And like, of course, as soon as he did that, I've seen like three in town that I, I know, it's crazy. I went years looking for one, and always, it always like slipped through my grasp because either A, I had literally just made a big purchase, or, or B, it was like, no fun February. Exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. While we were at Siege, we missed one, I think. You'll see my Halo uh, Xbox 360 down there. That's the original one. That's my very first one. I had to fix that because, you know, Red Ring and all that fun stuff. Yeah. I have that HD DVD player that goes with it and no HD DVDs yet. I would call this my Atari setup. With a hint of WWF. Yeah. Well, these, 
You can't call it WWE. It was yeah. WWF. These era. shelves, what are these for exactly? Do you they're remember? just acrylic shelves. You can hang them either way. I don't okay. think they're... They weren't for sometimes something specific? Sometimes they're for like highlighting a, a vinyl, like if you want to put just one up on the wall. Yeah. But it was just vinyl. It was just acrylic shelves and they were the perfect width. And, and I was like, why aren't we displaying these? They so, have to be displayed. So if you're old enough, you may have had this peanut butter. Yeah. When you were a kid. Yeah. These, yeah. These this, are peanut butter jars. These are peanut butter jars. We did a video. We restored this Atari, and we have something cool here that Jen made. Yeah. It's a it's a mini box. There's actually a website. I don't remember off the top of my head what it is, but they give you the the, the template, don't they? Yeah. And the artwork and everything. Yeah. So there was a mini boxes for your carts, and yeah, look. It's not perfect. Cooler. It wasn't, you couldn't get the templates everywhere, but I had to go and look for a few of them because I've, I've done a few. <laughs> There's another teeny tiny earthbound over here. Yeah, it's just for fun. Yeah. So I made a teeny, teeny, tiny one that's about the same size. It's, it's as smaller. The, as the game cartridge itself. Yeah, that's the exact size of a game cartridge. A couple cool things over in the corner. This was a birthday gift. I don't know if we have before and after pictures, but I had to I feel like we might. completely restore this thing. It came complete, posts and everything, it was all there. This was like so yellow. really yellow, really yellow. The stickers are completely destroyed. I had to get new ropes. I actually spray painted this and it turned out amazing. It and turned then out I got really, really good. new stickers. Pretty damn cool tag team right there, Heart Foundation. And if you look up, you're gonna see something that you probably recognize if you had a Nintendo when you were a kid, because I do believe that's the poster that came in the box. And it just, it fit perfectly up there and it was meant to be in the retro room. We did have it at the modern room at one point, but it had to come in here. Scanning left, we're gonna see toys, toys, and a lot more toys. So you're gonna see a theme of like, especially me, it's Transformers, G.I. Joes, He-Man, like everything from that mid to late 80s. Very cool. I was able to have uh, one toy in here. One toy. And uh, That was a birthday gift. It was it? a birthday gift. I got this for Christmas when I was in grade one and I immediately lost the sword uh, in the first day of school and I brought it for show, show and tell. So she has a sword back. All these WWF wrestling magazines are mine from when I was a teen, a, a teen. I was gonna say teenager and kid at the same time. But a teenager. <laughs> yeah, but like you can look, it's like 1989, and I'm sure like 91. You know, I and this is only, I don't know, maybe a third of what I actually have. I have the rest of them in a box somewhere. Let's look down here. I have, what, three consoles on mm -hmm. here, plus our vinyl, and uh, I have an amp. Now, something cool about this is that I have my record player hooked up with this room. Yes, and also... And also the, the other, room. other room. So I can... But I have the ability to turn it on and off out there. So I can fill the entire basement with Castlevania. Castlevania, Symphony. that's what I was going to oh, say. That one there, like right around Halloween, you put that I know, vinyl in. I know, just like... Friggin awesome. It's like chills. This, oddly enough, is gonna be probably one of my favorite boxes or yeah. box games. And it wasn't expensive. No, because this is all nostalgia, because I played this particular baseball game with my uncles a lot when I was a kid. And it was 15 bucks. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Yeah, 15 bucks. And like that, like 15 bucks couldn't have made me happier. You see we have a Sega sign, Retro Beard. So I thought it'd be fitting to put it over there with some of my Genesis stuff, the loose stuff. You'll see on the TV, that's probably my favorite Genesis game. And let's continue wrapping around to the left here. And you're gonna see more toys. More toys. More cool stuff. Jen made this kind of collage, call it collage of memories. Yeah, from Siege. From Siege. Probably one of my favorite things in here just because it was such an awesome time. Now we have a mixture of Alex's old toys, my toys, there's a lot of Ninja Turtle stuff. There's still like a lot of superhero stuff. Walking, falling Iron Walking, Man. Walking, falling Iron Man. Because he did not walk well and he no, just kept falling just down kept and falling. Alex got upset. So we kept calling him Walking, falling Iron and Man and then it made him laugh. It, it made it funny. And so made, now, it made it now, a joke. Yeah. Uh, this here I got from a friend at work there, Joey. Yeah. Joey gave me this one. This is not the ring I had when I was a kid. The, the LJM one over there is the one I had, but 
This is really cool. Yeah, like, it's just cool to have. You, you're not gonna find stuff like that. No. That's actually my fratty 12 year old skateboard. You'll see a lot of Tonkas. The farther we go left, uh, a lot of them came from Dennis. And then you'll see the strategy guides that are set up. These are some of my favorites. The holders are actually for displaying vinyl. Jen made a little autumn in there because she was she was playing down here a lot and her poor little feet were getting tired. Yes, this was like <laughs> leather and it was like falling apart and I completely recovered it. It's like a refurbish. Yeah, so I, I sewed this all together and uh, stapled everything on the inside and then put a new cover on it. Let's go look at some cool superhero, G.I. Joe, Transformer, GoBot, LGN wrestlers. I got so much stuff here. Anything that I had when I was a kid, I had to have it again. Kind yeah. of thing. You know what I mean? When, as soon as you had, as soon as we had our kid, you had to start collecting toys. Well, I had to like, it made me think of what made me happy when I was a kid. Yeah. Right? I have some of my like, maybe a little pricier comics in glass here. I basically put them in there just because I think your mom gave me that shadow box. I'll find something for it. Yeah. <laughs> You'll go a little bit farther left and you're gonna see our rock band. I was just rocking out to some You uh, were some, I was uh, I was kind guitar of guitar hero metal. I was vacuuming, was you were playing guitar awesome. hero, I was pissed. I want to be playing <laughs> I want to be playing rock band. And then we have more shelves here just kind of displaying all our light gun stuff. Yeah. Just the light guns. And look at this old phone. That's a very old phone. Yeah. This shelf I made for you for, for my daycare. For the daycare. And then when the daycare stopped, I was like, well, I can repurpose that and use it down here. Yeah. And it's all, it's mostly comics, strategy guides, but then there's a couple of uh, couple of cables and like the straps for my guitar, my Guitar Hero guitars. Tonka trucks up top, more comics. I got a G.I. Joe, this is a 25th anniversary thing. I, I, damn, that's gonna be like, what was that, 2007. I got that. Yeah. And then Marcus gave me this. Yeah. I think just maybe this summer or last summer. Yeah. Something like that. And I got the old, uh, the, what is it called? Mobile it? Command. Mobile Command Center. This was one of the biggest toys, I, or the coolest toys that I remember from when I was a kid from Christmas yeah. time. Because I remember my uncle had the, the fun task of like building it for me and it did not go well. It was. <laughs> Well, you look down from the Mobile Command Center, you're gonna see more cool G.I. Joes. I must have close to 300 G.I. Joes now. This is cool. This is a cool sign that we bought from Gary from Rock Solid Productions. If you guys notice this, there's a video coming up about this. That is not a cool. reproduction box. No, that's not a reproduction box. No. You have my loose uh, Super Nintendo carts in there. I was a Sega Genesis kid growing up, yeah. but I'll tell you what, I am becoming more and more of a fan of a Super Nintendo now. Because? Of the RPGs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then you go across, look, you got more Transformers, cool Transformers, you got the A-Team, and you got the old Light Bright. Yeah, had to have Light Bright, and we had to make it Retro Rivals. You know what, going around the room and talking about stuff. Um, Just made we my always, heart happy. <laughs> yeah, we, we always forget about things. Like even yeah. when new people come here and, yeah. and visit there and they want to see everything, I'll take them around real quick. And then, and then I remember like later on that, oh, I forgot to talk about that or talk, you know, talk about yeah. this. If there's something that you've seen just on camera that you didn't like even know notice. About yeah, it. yeah. Let us know in the comments sir, and we'll talk more about it. Or yeah. We do have an uh, idea of um, having a video of just all the art pieces and kind of mm -hmm. quick backstories and stuff and yeah. inspiration why we put these art pieces in here. Yeah, true. Um, but other than that, Jenny. I think that's everything. No. I think what that's else? It. I always get the question of how big is the game room? Uh, this room is, I think, about 15 by 21. That makes sense. Yeah, and then the bar area not included in that, so that would be like... It's not a huge space. It's not a huge space, and the room beside would be about 15 by probably 15. Uh, I don't know if 12. 
Yeah. 12, 15 by 12. Maybe that makes yeah. sense. Ish. Yeah. So. Games. So 1500. 1500. Ish. Uh, fun. <laughs> Not measurable. So people will say, why? Why did you guys? Why would you put so much time, so much money, all the effort into into because making this, this big game? Because it's our happy game? place. Yeah. This is like, our happy place. There's some things like I, you know. I don't go out. I'm not much for being socialized, going out to a bar yeah, or stuff like that. We get to host people yeah. here. We have friends over all the time. Just a few weeks ago, we had we were a group of probably 10? 10, 10 or 12. Well, yeah, yeah, and we just played games and yeah. had fun and yeah. had a blast. Like it's this is why we do it. Yeah. This is why if if you I in my opinion, you have a game room to share it. Yes. So we have this to share with everybody. And then eventually when it's no longer our stuff, it'll go to our son. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be in a garage and sale. And it'll be his burden. Be a garage sale at that <laughs> and point. It'll be in a garage sale. <laughs> All right. I think that's everything. And until next time, guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get my beer too? Oh, there we I'm go. not chugging this thing, are we? No! All right. Just game on.